In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a new field um, to your GIMP project from the input application. There's a couple of ways to add new fields, one of which is um, in the input application, and that I think is the easiest way to do it. So the first thing you want to do once GIMP is open is click on the input tab at the upper left, and then make sure you're in the correct table where you want to add the field. In this case, we're going to add a field to the borehole table, so I'm already there. Now click on the Tables field, the Tables menu, and select Add Field. And this dialog will allow you to give the field a name. I'll call it Drilled By. And there's various properties of the, of the fields which you can add from this dialog. Um, the most important of which is Type which type of data will be going in here. This is just someone's name, so it'll be a text field. We could also add a lookup if we had created one, and I'll show you how to create one in another video. Um, so for if we have various drillers for a particular um, project, um, with the lookup we'd make sure all their names are spelled correctly. You don't have to type as much at data entry, and um, it just makes things uh, simpler at data entry time. Down here we have the description property and you can add a description to clarify what uh, goes into the field. So whatever we type here will show up at the data entry time at the bottom of the screen when they click on that field. Um, below that we have units. You can add a unit to your field. If your field is a numeric field and requires the user know which unit goes in there, you can select it from here. Uh, this does not change anything in the data. If you switch the unit, the data doesn't change. It simply refers um, the user to what unit um, the data is in. And once you do that, you're done. Just click on OK. And we have a new field. It automatically goes all the way to the left or the right side of the screen. And probably that's not where I want to put it, so you can click, hold down your mouse button, and drag it over to where you want it to be. So all these little things you're doing, be it adding a new field, um, giving it a data type or a caption, for example, dragging it to where you want it to be, these things are stored in the project. If you want them to be used for future projects, then you want to um, save them to a data template. So to do that, we click on the Tools menu, select Make Data Template. If I haven't saved yet, it will prompt me to save my project changes. Click OK. And you could type the name of a new data template and create it. Most likely for any one company, usually you only need one or in some cases two or very few data templates. Usually one is enough. And that data template stores all of the um, structure of your database. So in this case I have lots of them, but that's just because I'm, um, I work with these. So I'm going to select one. I'm overwriting it with the new changes I've made. Now any future projects I create from that will have the same new um, column, this new field drilled by. Um, things like creating a lookup or deleting a field um, we'll cover in other videos. You cannot delete a field from uh, the input uh, input application and that's to avoid having people who don't know the program well uh, really altering the structure by deleting in, in important ways by deleting fields. But that was quite, um, adding a field is simple, one of the simplest things you can do.